now we're starting. Okay, this is going to, uh, a little introduction about the, uh, the force table lab that we're going to do in a couple of days. Um, this is all the stuff you need. This is the force table. You need to pick up um, four of these pulleys and then two bags. Now these two bags, one bag, um, each bag has two sets of weights in it. But one bag also needs to have this black cord in it. So you need a bag with weights and a black cord and you need a, and just a plain bag. And you can kind of see the black cord. And I'm going to explain the difference between the two in just a second, but you need one bag of each. Okay. The force table is just round, and it's marked off in degrees. I'm going to give you, you're going to be told how to set up your force table. And what you want to do is take one of these pulleys and set it up to each of the degrees on the label that you're given. I'm just going to throw some up there real quick. But they just kind of slide on the edge and tighten them down. Okay, the whole idea of this lab is to see how all the forces interact. Um, what you need, after you set up the pulleys, in the bag, in the bag with the black cord, you take out the black cord because what that is, is string that goes around all the pulleys. And so there's a ring in the middle, and then each cord hangs over a pulley. And then in that same bag, there's this black pin that sets in the middle, and that keeps the ring in the middle without moving around. Because what I want you to do, once you set it up with the angles that you're given, you, you hang these weights on the edges, and we want all four weights hung up around the, around the side to make everything balanced. And I'll show you what I mean. And these weights come off. They do come off, and so you might want to start with them, um, with some of them without the weights on. And you can tell that as I add the weights on it, it's going to just pull down on the string. And the whole idea, once you get all the four um, hangers put on there with the right weight, what you want is this ring to be balanced in the middle. If I take out that middle ring, you can tell that it's going to move to the side. So I'm not balanced. And so what I need to do is to remove some weight on each hanger or maybe add some weight on another hanger so that when it's all balanced um, the ring won't move. Kind of like, and I'm just going to cheat a little bit, kind of like you should be able to remove the ring and all the weights when they're, when all the forces are balanced the ring will stay right in the middle. That's the goal. I want you to figure out what, how much weight goes on each um, hanger in order to get all the forces to balance. The other part of the lab is I give you some forces and angles and I want you to calculate the unknown. And, and that's more about... <laughs> I want you to calculate the force and the angle. We're going to go through that calculation in class. But this first part deals with just this force table. Um, so you get all the hangers put on there with the weights where it's going to balance out. Um, record everything. Make sure you record the angles, how much weight is on each hanger. Um, we're going to talk about the calculations that you need to do in class. When you're all done, everything goes back away. Um, and each bag goes two sets of weights and, and then the, the ring and the hanger goes in the other bag along with the, set of, with the sets of weights. I think that's all I got for you.
Good luck.